Welcome to Kix Kami. This is Papa Kix. Today we're going to look at some tricks that will help you complete hard mode daily maze more consistently. The first involves the boss not understanding the size of his projectile, making his hitbox detection fail. Hitbox is a gaming term. It means what parts of a player or target will register as taking damage or a critical hit. It usually applies when the hitbox is larger or smaller than the physical object you see. In our example here, the boss has line of sight on us, and therefore attacks. However, the boss is not self-aware enough to realize that his attacks are too big to get past the fence, meaning we are protected. Conversely, our projectiles are small enough to get past the fence and still hit the boss, allowing us to attack the boss freely without having to dodge his attacks. However, you still have to deal with him summoning minions. This is an issue for any hunter that does not have good AoE and will need to move from this protection to stay away from the summons and survive. To stop him from summoning, you will need to be able to do Abyssal Maze, or at least enter it. When Abyssal first came out, he had several spells he would cast. They were a little buggy, so they disabled them until a future time. That future time never came, so his spell casting is still disabled. But when you run Abyssal, then run Daily Maze without restarting, it disables the Daily Maze boss from casting his spells also. So to fully utilize this, we run Abyssal, then run Daily Maze without restarting, and in the boss fight, we use the Line of Sight protection to keep us alive. If you are on a hunter that doesn't have healing, you'll need to be fast at lining up the Line of Sight, or else you will die as you try to set it up. The next trick involves the Save and Leave mechanic. In case you didn't know, you can save and exit the daily maze in order to continue later. This is fantastic if you want to play the game, but know you can't complete the full run. Go as far as you want, then save and exit to complete it later. When you level up, you are given a choice of two perks. These are random and not saved until you pick one. Which means if you don't like either choice or are looking for a very specific perk, you can save and leave. When you load the game again, you'll be offered two new perks. You can keep doing this until you get the perk that you want. You can see how big of a deal this is, hoping to get the perks you need to win versus guaranteeing it. We can also use this feature as an emergency eject button. If you are about to die, or even if you just don't like the room you are in, you can very quickly save and leave. When you re-enter the game, you'll go back to combat, but the room might be different and all the enemies will be reset. Same with the boss room. But you'll want to be careful with this one. If you take damage before you leave, that damage will still be missing when you re-enter. So if you're on a hunter that can't heal, just remember that you won't be able to recover that HP unless you have a heal shrine available after the fight. The best use for this, in my opinion, is if you simply do not like the map. For example, this is one of the worst rooms for me. I tense up any time it loads when I'm playing a level 1 hunter for these videos. I try to complete these rooms so that I can give a difficulty rating for that hunter, but for the average player, it's better to save and leave and hope to get an easier map when you come back. If you are too slow, you will be defeated and that will end your run. You can also force close the game. Just be aware that depending on your phone's settings, it might still be running in the background if you aren't fast enough meaning you could still take hits and die. So what do you think about these tricks? Do you think they should be patched, or are they valid strategies? Let me know in the comments. Every video I make has a redeemable code hidden in it. Where do you think I hid it in this video? In the last video, the code was hidden where Vlad's HP was. HP was turned into the first two letters of the code, and this continued until the code was complete. I post hints if no one gets the code right away. So join my Discord if you want to get these hints. A big shout out as always to my community supporters. You guys rock. If you like my content, please consider joining them. And thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Papa kicks out.